all right good morning guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to be doing three easy diys for fall decor farm style farm decor so we're going to go ahead and get started the first thing we're going to be doing is that shutter right there that you see the black shutter with the harvest on it i actually got two of these from the um, dollar spot at target i'm only going to be using one for this one however but we're going to go get in and also get the garland from the dollar store and we also got these signs um, the little welcome and thankful signs we got those from the dollar store as well so what i'm starting is i'm just distressing it a little bit which i'm actually going to go back and do more because i feel like i didn't distress it enough but we're going to go ahead and do that um, with sandpaper for a little bit and then after that we're going to go ahead and glue the garland together and then add the harvest sign And I was actually running out of glue, so that's why I'm using my scissors to push the glue out. I know, it's pretty sad. I need to go and obtain some more. I'll probably end up doing that today. But anyways, let's get going and let's go ahead and glue that harvest sign on this one. That's the one that I'll be using. that is it guys super easy and inexpensive um, i definitely need more glue for that and then my second one that i'm doing i'm just putting in some pumpkins that i got from hobby lobby in this little basket that i already had at home and i figured i'm gonna go ahead and add some of that um, garland also to this as well just to make it look a little bit more Put together in my little area that i'm going to be placing all of this so i'm just going to go ahead and add that and again all of this was already stuff that i already had except the little pumpkins the pumpkins i actually got those at hobby lobby and they were actually really inexpensive i think they were like four dollars on sale and there were about 10 of them if i'm not mistaken but yeah super cheap and inexpensive and just super simple And for this little next one, I already had this little side drawer in my bedroom and I decided why not wipe it down and repainted it so I can make it look more farm style and put this in my living room. So I'm just wiping everything down to make sure that it's not dirty before I start the project. And I did have this white chalk paint already that I bought a long time ago, so I decided to use the white chalk paint. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paint the whole entire cabinet I'm sorry, drawer, and then we'll go ahead and get to um, drying it and sanding it. Now, I do let it dry for 24 hours before I start sanding it and before I started distressing it and adding the wax as well. So let's go ahead and just color this whole entire drawer.
All right, so now that it was dry, I actually had to do a second coat, so you didn't see me do the second coat, but I did second coat, and now I'm just sanding it. It is the next day, and I was just sanding it. Now, when I did the sanding, I honestly, the, the distressing was not good at all, and the next day, my husband was like, what are you doing? You need to distress it more. So he actually ended up helping me out and, um, and did more of the distressing for me. You guys will see it at the end of this video but anyways um i did go ahead and distress it and then i added a wax uh, to the top of it just to make sure that everything is good and clean and that way i can wipe it down and not get um get it more distressed than what i wanted it so i went ahead and added the wax again the next day like i told you guys i distressed it more so you'll see the final finish in just a little bit but let's all right, so this is the finished product. That's how it looks after we distressed it more. I think we still need to distress it on the sides, but hey, it looks pretty good from the front, I think. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. And let me go ahead and show you guys the whole um, items put together. So my little harvest, the little pumpkins, and then this little drawer that I put right in front of my living room. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys like these type of videos, give this one a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next time in my next video.